Now let's go to the Vata region where many teachers have over the years refused posting to Mafi and for EP basic school in the central Tong district. Now, those who accept post postings there must travel several kilometers to school on a daily basis. This is because there's no accommodation for them in the com community, and this has impacted teaching and learning. To avert a further decline in the academic performance of the pupils, the youth of the area decided to contribute their widow's might to build a teacher's bungalow in Joe Prime's latest feature titled Building a Village Dream. My colleague Emmanuel Givenu visited the community and filed this report. <laughs> A busy day at Mamfi Amfoy, a farming community in the central town district of the Volta region. The laborious efforts of the workers involved in this building will not be compensated. They are eager to finish this project so they can attract teachers to their community and raise the standards of education. Because of the deprived nature of the community and the poor accommodation, many teachers refuse to accept postings to the EP Basic School, which serves over 400 pupils. <laughs> the chief of Mafi Amfoy, Todbidra Abuetaka IV, is concerned about the poor state of education in his village. The last two years or so, the school performed poorly, very, very poorly. And uh, we attribute all these things to teachers living outside the communities. Uh, so uh, it has affected the, uh, the teaching and learning of the peoples. Teachers who accept postings to Manfia Fua travel long distances to school every day. The nature of the road, uh, they come, uh, Togwe and uh, his elders have to be looking for accommodation for them. Uh, one week, two weeks, one month, uh, they, are, they, they are discouraged. And so on, they go and they don't come back again. So it's affecting the, the teaching and learning in the community. People have to travel about uh, 15 kilometers from Sugakope, or about five kilometers, uh, because there is no accommodation there, they high room over there and come down to this year. At times, because of the uh, transport problem, they delay in coming. Civic. Again. To attract more teachers and halt the further decline in the academic performance of the pupils, the youth of the community decided to contribute 10 CDs monthly to buy building materials for a bungalow. Skilled workers in the town offer their services for free. Wafa Sedbe is excited to be part of this project. It is the youth that came together and then they formed a WhatsApp group and through that uh, they said uh, if you know you are from this community whether living here right now or not you have to contribute something every month so the money they have contributed every month that makes them started this uh, project actually we can say the government should do everything if we should say the government should do everything our children their performance will still be going down Lucky Fiawo Yipe is a pupil's teacher at Manfiafue, but he is not so lucky. Due to the lack of residential facilities there, he travels several kilometers to school. Having to embark on this journey daily troubles him, and the recent hike in four prizes has compounded his woes. On a rainy day, the roads are rendered unmotorable, so Lucky is unable to make it to school. It's difficult for us simply because we do commit to from our various community coming to the school. Because we are not living in the community. And therefore, most of the time, whenever we are coming, the road, the road to is unmotorable. So whenever it rains, you can't go through the, 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 the muddy roads. Sometimes you have to stack or fall or our dresses become dirty. Mr. Fiawo Yipe shares how the situation is impacting education at Manfi Amfoe. Children also do come to school later because we are not in school. Because they, they look at us before they, they come to school. So we, we have to chase them to come and sweep after sweeping, cleaning all the campuses and other places. Before that, we have, we have eaten into time. 
and therefore it makes our learning very late sometimes we have to start our lesson around nine o'clock due to the nature of the road and then the lateness of the, uh, the people coming to school a tanya ways of claiming our rights ways yeah uh, we try our accommodation in the community but we couldn't find it some of us couldn't find it because we are, the, the accommodation in the community is very scarce sometimes they will give it to you you have to finish it up buy the materials to finish it up so if you don't have money you can't do it so that's our problem so it's compelled some of us to stay in our communities before coming to school so the youth decided that no the small money they have they should use it to start uh, teachers bungalow so that the teacher, teachers can stay in the community and uh, teach the, 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 their people very well so that at least in the evening those who will be facing some challenges in learning uh, we can organize some evening classes for them according to the youth the four bedroom facility will go a long way towards enhancing teaching in the school but they fear the facility may not be ready before the start of the next academic year. They are, however, appealing to philanthropists, non-governmental organizations, and the government to augment their efforts. The money they have contributed is not enough. And while the, this work has also started, most of the money and all the capital has gone already. So the one who that left for the, comple the completion of the building is very huge. Look, even the building is at the, at the window level. So we need a lot of money again. A lot of money to complete the project. They have that courage and we, we also encourage them. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to this assembly, the MP uh, and the philanthropists, those NGOs who can come to their aid for this uh, project to complete so that our teachers can stay in the community and teach our children for us. The chief and people of Manfiafua are dedicated to raising funds to finish this project to attract educators and safeguard the future of their children. Emmanuel Juvenus reports for Joy Prime. That is Emmanuel Jimenez's report there. Joining us more for this is Mr. Thomas Moore, who is the MCE for the area. Mr. Moore, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, my sister. Now, what's your take on the initiative by the youth group in Mafi and Foy? I can hardly hear you, though. Uh, I'm on the phone and network is very poor. I'll do my best to answer your question. All right, so I was asking what your take is on the initiative. Oh, yes, I, I'm very proud of that community. I am a native, and, uh, born and bred, and I, I went to my basic school in that very community. So I know everything about that very community. And this is not a first of this kind in the community or in the district, uh, as, uh, as of now, I can tell you so many other communities in the district are trying to do self-help projects, which we are encouraging them and we do support them uh, any time in the state that they cannot be stopped. So it's a very good initiative and I uh, can say boldly that. All right. So. Mr. Mo, can you tell us about the current situation in your municipality regarding the housing for teachers in general? Because I heard you say that this is not the first for the community. So uh, please tell us the situation there. I'm saying it's not a first because some other communities have also initiated same or similar uh, projects and they are, they are doing work. Not regard to only teacher accommodation, but to have uh, facilities uh, uh, school blocks and others. Uh, I can say that uh, the accommodation problem is very high in, in Central Town, in that uh, unlike other regions or regions where individuals have uh, burdens for people to hide, mm -hmm. uh, our district is not like that. The majority of the community uh, don't have free building or uh, a chance for hiring. So it's affecting education in the area. That's why uh, most of the communities have 
actually taking it upon themselves to to do the aspect while the government is at the, uh, the, the school bed. They are also doing the accommodation aspect of it. So that it uh, will have learning and teaching. Well, the youth are calling for support to be able to finish this project before the start of the next academic year. Is there any commitment uh, you'll want to make towards helping the youth in this community? Or are there any plans for that? Yes, uh, I'm also part of the contributors. I'm on the same page with them to always contribute. Uh, that can be this per uh, per uh, youth. I'm also a youth with the community. Mm. And then as this thing, uh, we always organize programs uh, uh, every Christmas uh, on the 24th or 25th. We, we, we do fundraise. We did it last year. I was there myself to support. And uh, this year, we shall be there again to raise funds to, towards the, that state project. But that doesn't prevent any, anybody from coming to our aid. Uh, any uh, organization, any philanthropy that is still interested allowed but uh, ourselves uh, as you of the community have taken it upon ourselves to, to raise funds every year uh, and then every month we contribute the density speech which i'm also a member and i'm being sick all right thank you very much that is mr thomas moore who is the mc for central tong and if you're watching this and would like to contribute Please send us a message on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages, Joy Prime, also Joy News on TV or you can uh, call us. You still